Yo. Hi guys, today I'm gonna review this game with my dad. My opponent is Awesome Chestnut and his rating is 1,251. Okay. We're, we're the same rating almost and and his first move is F3. Knight to F3. Usually people push the players push the pawn in front of the king or queen, but he pushed the the horse, the knight. I pushed the D pawn two steps and he pushed his E pawn one step. I developed my knight while also supporting the Say to F2, F6, knight yeah. to F6. And I'm also defending this pawn on D5. He checked me and I made kind of like a chain while attacking him. Also preventing the check. He moves back. He oh. moves back to what square? E2. E2. Also, can I tell you? Also, here's something you should know. If if you move a piece two times in an opening, it's very bad. He not very bad. It's just not advisable to move your piece twice. Yeah. Then I develop my bishop two. and to f5, and he castles. On the king's side. So why is castle important? So if so that if you so that the king is defended. It's safe. So also, the king is safe. Also, I've learned if if he, you have a higher chance of winning when you have when your uh, castle. Okay. You have a higher chance of winning because your king is defended. I push that up. I push my e pawn up, and I can. I don't know why I pushed one step. Oh wait, it's not defended on its e on e five. Yeah, it, the knight will take it if you push it to uh, e five. Then it will go there while eating a piece. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then he attacked it. He attacked the bishop. Oh yeah, right. And then. I move it up to e4, attacking the king's base. Then he attacked, he attacked it again. again. It's defended, but I don't want um, a double pawn yet. I did not notice it. He eat. I eat. Takes. Yeah, he takes. Then he moved back. Then I develop my knight. knight. So, because there's space. You develop your knight to c. Six. Yeah. Right to c six. I could have developed my bishop, but I chose not to. Then he pinned. I developed my my bishop. To prepare for. To d six. Then you you move your bishop to prepare for. To prepare for castling. Yeah. And I moved back because he threatened your knight. Yeah. Then he took my knight and I took it with a pawn. Now I have a double pawn. And double pawn is bad. It's not advisable to use to do that. And he he attacked my So you can take it just to remove your double pawn. Yeah. Mm. But then I got a second double pawn. He will take it, so he's not so you're not going to be oh see, no more. Yeah, that you attack the knight, then where did he go? He went to the side, yeah, attacking my bishop. bishop. And I moved my bishop to e5. To avoid the knight taking it, okay. Then how did you do? How did you progress? I attacked the knight. Also, I got a plus one in points. Mm. Right here in the corner. Then, so, his knight is now... In the corner of the board. Yeah, that's very bad. And also, he has only two spots to go to. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Ah, uh, now you castle. So your king is now safe. Yeah. He castled before me. On the fifth move. Mm -hmm. Right here. He moved up his queen. There's a little battery over there. Mm -hmm. And I moved back my bishop. Okay. Also, there's a battery here. Later, pal. So he attacks your your pawn. So how do you do you move your pawn up or you take that pawn? I took it because okay. If I don't eat it and I push my queen, he eat, then I eat, then my um battery. But will you can push it up to gain space. Yeah, but eating it is much better. You get points. And I ate. Do you take it back? Yeah. Then what did you do? You battery. You make a battery of your twin and bishop attacking the H2 pawn. Yeah. And he made a giant mistake. Very big. Mm -hmm. He could have pushed the G2 pawn up one step to G3. Mm -hmm. But so what did he do? Dun dun dun. He moved his bishop just to attack my horse. He didn't see the threat yeah. of, of a checkmate. Then what you do? Checkmate! So you won by a uh, checkmate? Yeah. And he made a giant mistake. He should have pushed his pawn. Or either just do something else other than kill himself. Okay, that's nice. How about. Did, huh? did you play some games with the. With this one? The, Wait. Wait, can I do something? And this was a twenty-one move game. game. Yeah. This so let's one, see. Let's see now your. This one was a very let's recent. Let's see now game. your no. This one was very recent. Yeah, yeah. This was either played yesterday or before yesterday. Let's now see your grades. Your my grades are. Your report card. Report card. Yeah. So this is your this Miggy's uh, report card. So actually, I have another account, Slow Poetic Tadpo. Yes, ninety stars here. Played eighteen games, and his rating is one, two, ten. I I have not play any slow games. Yeah, I hate slow games because it takes. Yes, a, a long computer time. game here. But it's all uh like Yeah, it's all bots, very bad bots. Like reboot we have two here. Mode. Reboot is easy. Let's check this one. Let's check one. My dad is gonna oh, review that review. One. You're black here, right? Yeah. Okay. My dad is gonna remove that part where he had an error. No, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I think no. Okay, he pushed his pawn on the E file to E4. I pushed my D Scandinavian pawn to D5 at Scandinavian. Oh, this is a mistake. Like I said before in one of our videos, um, do not put your queen out, or else it might get attacked, mm -hmm. or it might get taken away. Then I ate it. Takes it, takes yeah. it. Then I attacked it. Develop the knight this while having just, a tempo. This is just like Scandinavian classical, just on the white side. Hmm. Then he moved to the side. I'm planning an attack. The next move I will go to G5. Sorry. Yeah. Then he moved up. I yeah. attacked his queen. Then he supports it. <laughs> and this this is why you should never play with bots. Okay. They're they're very bad. So they're very bad in, uh, <laughs> So what happened here? He, he takes, then you develop the knight. Yeah. 
several pawn moves, then you develop the bish the dark square bishop. Yeah. You also then develop the white square bishop. You move this rook to h2. You takes the knight. Yeah. Oh, it didn't take back, it pushed the pawn. It takes. Oh, he's giving away the rook. Are you eating it? You're taking everything. I took everything. Also, in one of our game, in one of my games, I ate all of his. I I was playing with a one two hundred and I ate all of his pieces except my opponent's queen. Okay. My opponent was left with nothing. My okay. one two hundred opponent. <laughs> so that's that's it. That's all for today. And uh, we will review other game maybe tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, we'll review. Right. I will review. Well, tomorrow we'll review that one two hundred game where I ate all of his pieces and I only left his queen. Okay, bye. So bye. Okay. My mouth hurts. Yeah. I'm gonna go check on Ethan all left.